hello everyone welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to uh, prove uh, Euler's reflection formula uh, we prove uh, that formula in previous videos but uh, here another approach okay uh, first uh, we are going to take beta function so we know beta of m n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the m minus 1 over 1 plus x to the m plus n dx also uh, we can represent beta function by using gamma function so we have gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n okay now uh, in this formula uh, i'm going to replace uh, m by c and instead of n we are going to plug in 1 minus c so uh, here uh, we have gamma of m gamma of c uh, gamma of n we know 1 minus c over gamma of m plus n so c plus 1 minus c then uh, this integral uh, we know integral from 0 to infinity x to the now m minus 1 m we know uh, c minus 1 over 1 plus x to the uh, m plus n so c plus 1 minus c here dx we know this minus c uh, get cancelled and gamma of 1 we know 1 so we have gamma of c times gamma of 1 minus c is equal to uh, here now uh, this integral i'm going to break the limit uh, integral from 0 to 1 x to the c minus 1 over 1 plus x dx plus here we have 0 to infinity so 0 to 1 then we know 1 to infinity x to the c minus 1 over 1 plus x and here dx okay let us take uh, this integral is equal to j so now uh, i'm going to evaluate uh, j uh, so to evaluate j uh, i'm going to make a substitution x is equal to 1 over u then dx is equal to minus 1 over u square du then we know here j uh, now we should change the limit uh, lower limit 1 when x approaches to infinity we know here 0 uh, then x to the c minus 1 so x we know 1 over u so 1 over u to the z minus 1 over 1 plus x we know 1 over u then dx minus 1 over u square times du okay let us uh, simplify a little bit uh, we know uh, after getting common denominator, uh, we know this u uh, get cancelled and this u uh, also get cancelled in a numerator. So we have uh, here minus sign. So we can change the boundary integral from 0 to 1. Now here u to the uh, minus c over 1 plus u d u. Okay. Uh, also we can write this integral uh, by changing the variable we know x to the minus c over 1 plus x and here dx okay then uh, again uh, we know here our equation so uh, we know gamma of c gamma of c times gamma of 1 minus c is equal to uh, first uh, this integral integral from 0 to 1 x to the z minus 1 over 1 plus x dx uh, plus then integral from 0 to 1 this integral x to the uh, minus z over 1 plus x dx okay uh, as a next step here uh, integral from 0 to 1 x to the c minus 1 x to the z minus 1 then we have 1 over 1 plus x so we know the uh, series representation of 1 over 1 plus x 
we have sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n and here uh, x to the n and dx okay then uh, plus here integral from 0 to 1 now x to the minus c so x to the minus c then see this representation 0 to uh, infinity uh, here we have uh, minus 1 to the n x to the n dx well uh, then we can interchange the sigma notation and integral sign so here sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n integral from 0 to 1 now we can simplify this one so x to the n plus c minus 1 dx uh, then here plus n is equal 0 to infinity uh, minus 1 to the n integral from 0 to 1 x to the minus c x to the n so x to the n minus c dx okay uh, now we can simply uh, integrate general power rule of integration so if we integrate x to the n plus c minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled so if we apply limit 1 over n plus c so we have sum of n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over n plus c plus uh, here n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over here we have n minus c when integrate we have plus 1 well uh, then here uh, in this series i'm going to change uh, take the first term we know when first term we have n is equal to 0 so when n is equal to 0 we have 1 plus c so sorry 1 over c so 1 over c then plus then this series begin with n is equal 1 so n is equal 1 to infinity we have uh, minus 1 to the n over n plus c okay then uh, for this series i'm going to um, shift the index so i'm going to take uh, when n is equal 1 to infinity then we know instead of n we have n minus 1 uh, so here minus and here minus 1 to the n here n minus c okay uh, simplify a little bit so we have 1 over c plus here n is equal 1 to infinity now here if we take the common denominator we have uh, difference of 2 square n square minus uh, c square and common term minus 1 to the n and here we have n minus c minus n minus c well we know uh, n get uh, cancer so we have 1 over uh, c then here minus c minus c minus 2 times c so minus 2 n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n times c over n square minus c square okay then <coughs> now i'm going to take 1 over c as a common factor so here we have 1 minus 2 times n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n we got uh, 1 over c as a factor so here c square over n square minus c square well now this is familiar with us because we know it's uh, the Fourier series representation of uh, cosecant of phi c so we have 1 over c and this one equal to phi z times cosecant of phi c then we know this c get cancelled and here we have phi over sine of phi z okay and here gamma of c gamma of 1 minus c so we know this is the Euler's reflection formula thank you for watching